Hi, I'm Doug O'Brien. PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is a major problem among military veterans. A study by the RAND Corporation shows at least 20% of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans have PTSD. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs estimates that the number to be almost 31% of Vietnam veterans. And with about 21 million veterans in the United States, that's a lot of people. It is also worth noting that veterans have a 20 to 25% higher risk of suicide than civilians, which works out to about 20 suicides every day. But there is some good news on the horizon. There is a new therapy available that clinical studies show to be vastly better at removing symptoms of PTSD than ever before. To illustrate how much better, take a look at the results of two studies. The first study shows how veterans with PTSD have been treated up to now. The second shows the results of a new treatment that is already available. The first study, published in January of 2016, looked at three first-line therapies for PTSD. These are the most commonly used treatments for veterans. The study showed that of those people that finished the treatment, approximately 35% of them got better, meaning they generally no longer met the clinical criteria for PTSD. Now that's considered pretty good. They actually consider that a good result for most interventions. However, the report didn't mention how many sessions were involved in the treatment, but they did report that the dropout rates were just as high or higher than the success rate. As high as 39% of the participants dropped out. Now, let's compare that to a second study released about the same time by the Research and Recognition Project. This study looked at the results of treating the veterans with a technique from the world of NLP, or Neuro Linguistic Programming, a technique that the researchers dubbed the movie theater technique. It was done first as a pilot study in 2015, and then replicated three times since. And as an aside, in science, replicating a study has long been considered a crucial part of scientific investigation, because if the re replications show similar results, it tends to further substantiate the findings. The first published results of the 2015 pilot study showed that 97% of the participants no longer met the clinical criteria for PTSD. They were in complete remission. Furthermore, this was done in only three sessions per participant, and there was a zero dropout rate. Each of the study's replications have shown similar results of well over 90% success rate and minimal dropout rate. These are very exciting results. Think about that. These are clinical studies that show we should be able to successfully treat almost every veteran or civilian with PTSD in as little as three sessions. Now to be clear, these studies focused on veterans who were specifically suffering from flashbacks and nightmares. The term PTSD is used to describe a wide variety of symptoms and can show up in a whole host of different ways. That being said, I will tell you from my personal experience as one of the NLP practitioners working with the veterans in the most recent iteration of the study, it was remarkably gratifying to witness these guys change. I typically saw a person for one session a week for three weeks, three sessions total. Before treatment, many hadn't slept through the night in years. So after their nightmares and flashbacks stopped, they actually began to get a good night's sleep on a regular basis. That change alone was transformational. They came in rested, articulate, and clear-eyed, no longer worn and ravaged by the terrors of the night. If you or someone you know suffers from a phobia, flashbacks, or symptoms of PTSD, don't hesitate to call. We can help. Beyond that, here are some ways that you can help spread the word. Support the Research and Recognition Project by visiting their website, www.rnrproject.org and make a contribution. Alert your state and local congressmen about the intervention and the website, or use Amazon Smile and designate the Research and Recognition Project as one of your beneficiaries. Thanks.